Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bug Fables. Last time we left off, we... What did we do last time? Oh yeah, we beat, we beat uh, Mother Chomper again, and we also reunited Leif with his family. I had to think for a second. Once I put myself on the spot like that, I was confused. So the first thing I want to do, turn in these two lore books. It's one of ours, and whoop, sorry. Didn't mean to waste your time with my explorer's permit. Alrighty. Which book would we want to look at? The Lost Art of Flight. History tells of insects soaring the sky, covering great distances. Nowadays, only the bees, wasps, and a few lesser species seem to retain that privilege. Even so, most bugs continue to possess wings. Day-to-day -day life doesn't quite need flight, so perhaps we as a collective have evolved past it. Could it be that one day bees will not flap their wings any longer? Huh, that's curious. So, like, butterflies and moths don't fly. I, I mean, I can kind of understand the, the moths not flying. Because Leif and the few other moths that we've seen don't seem like they're really built for flying right now. But the butterflies, their wings are still very much like a large part of their body. Mantid claws. According to data found in ancient roach slabs, mantises used to have claws instead of hands before the Day of Awakening. What a weird way to live. How would they have been able to hold stuff? Or to make art? Or even cook? Thinking about it, this may be why they have an affinity for sharp tools. Fascinating. Some lesser mantids and mimics still have claws instead of hands. Such a pity. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Finding out more about the various races. I feel like I should go talk to this awful person. Like, maybe he'll give me a hint on where this last book is. No. He had a, like, exclamation point over his head, so I was kind of hoping maybe he'd be like, Oh, having trouble finding the last book, eh? Here's where you look. So... What do I want to do next? For, well, first, let's go look at the bulletin board and see if we can find any new uh, quests to do. I have quite a stacked uh, little list here of things that I want to accomplish during this little intermission between the story that we have. Code 32. Okay, so let's go ahead and accept that one because going back to the Bee Kingdom is one of the things I had on my mind. Took my friend's masks. I really tried to fight them, but they're too strong. I just need some backup. Can someone meet me at the Ant Kingdom's residential area? Yeah, we can do that. But you know, I couldn't get enough of Wacka Worm. Could anyone bring me to a spot where I could see others play again? Well, we'll handle that later. For now, let's just accept those two quests and see what we can do with those. So the residential area should be this way. We just let so many side quests pile up. Hey, buddy. Huh, who are you guys? Team Snakemouth, ready to work. Oh, you're explorers? You, you saw my post? You could say that. Could you... Could you tell us all you know? Sh sure. Look, it's super simple. The bandits stole my friend's mask. They've got to be at their hideout, but, but I can't beat them alone. I need your backup. Wait, uh, you're going? Y yes, I can't run from this. Do you have an explorer permit? N no You should probably stay behind then. I refuse. Besides, if they see me with you, they'll just think you're escorting me. Please, I can fight. I'm just really shy. Such thirst for justice. You can't be seriously falling for that. Come with us, brave lad, but stay behind our formation. Oh boy. Uh, Alright, let's go to their hideout then. Oh, poor Kabu is too righteous for his own good. His lust for justice slash revenge. All right. Oh wait. Where'd he go? Uh. Aren't you following? Their hideout. I mean, he did say the bandits, right? Huh. I was going to go fast travel to the bandits' lair. Okay. Okay. Now he's following me again. Cool. I don't know why he disappeared that one time. Maybe he got stuck on the wall or something. Well, he's gone again. Well, I, like I said, I'm fairly sure I have to go to the bandit's lair, which the fastest way to get over there is to go down here and fast travel. So I kind of just hope that he stays with me, even though he's not actually following me right now. Hmm. I mean, I don't think they would make us walk all the way over there, right? Would they make us do that? I don't know. So the fastest way to get to the bandit's camp would probably be the well. 
So why don't we go over there? Should probably save too. Wasn't there a save point like right here? Yes. Hello, friendly save point. Alrighty, so now we just need to hop down here. I really am concerned about this character not being with me, but I mean, uh, do we really just have to walk? Okay, no, here he is. Cool. Now that we're in here, he just kind of showed up. All right, let's put all of our normal stuff back on, I suppose. I really just need Bug Me Not on. So let's just take Sleep Resistance off of Kabu and just put Bug Me Not on. That way we can keep on our boss fighting uh, set up. Well, where in here is your friend? Oh, it's probably in their storeroom, the mask that he's looking for. So yeah, why don't we just go in there? I imagine we're just gonna have to fight a couple of the bandits in this particular fight. Here we are. Uh, oi, I hope you're ready to pay. What? You followed us, punk? As the dog shakes his collar in the background. Give me one second, actually. All right, just had to uh, take his collar off really quickly. So when he shook around and stuff, it didn't pick up in the recording. And he's got help with him. Ah, think we're scared because you're not alone? Yeah, you're only brave when you pick on others. This is fair game. Sh shut up. Aren't those the ones that fought the boss? That's perfect. We'll beat these punks and get a reward. Huh, your boss would be most disappointed in you, I'm sure. You sure about that one, Kabu? Whatever, let's go. Yeah. Is he actually gonna help, I wonder, in the fight? He is there. I'm kind of curious. Is he going to do anything to help us in this fight? Well, all of you are jokes that I honestly feel like I can just absolutely annihilate super quickly. So why don't we just go ahead and do that? Oh yeah, I forgot the one in the air needed to be knocked down before I did that. Oh, we could try frost bowling on these guys. Let's see. Yeah, let's give it a shot. What better time to use this ability? Press the button shown to set up the attack and then press hey after hitting an enemy. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Damn. Okay. That is a very expensive attack that has a lot of different ways to mess it up if you're not prepared. Hey, yeah, you like taking that free damage? All right, well, let's do frost bowling again. I want to actually see what happens if we manage to get it off. Okay, I mean, it's very damaging if you actually manage to hit A like you're supposed to. But that's not something I see myself using too often. One, because of how expensive it is, but also just because <coughs> it is very hard to get all the commands without messing up. And if you do mess it up, it's a lot of TP wasted. It seems pretty good, though, all things considered. All right, get out of here. One XP. Just the sad little meep. Aha, Toria! <laughs> Funny. What, what are you doing? Uh, oh, whoa, we did it. We beat him up. Er, y yes, we could have done it without you, brave lad. P punk That was awesome. We did it. I can't believe he said Toria. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go tell Yuffie that I beat up all the bad guys. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, Oi, the reward. Do you really... Yes, this was a tough one. If you really want one, guess you can go ask him back in town. Well, I guess that's what we're doing, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and walk back to town. Maybe I should save just in case, like, another fight happens or something. Like we get ambushed or something on the way out of here. That would be unfortunate, but I wouldn't put it past this game. All right. This was the way, yeah, okay, this is the correct way. Shouldn't take us too long to get back to town. It was an interesting little quest. Neat that we got like an NPC to fight with us that we've never seen before. Because we've really just had Maki I think it's just Maki that we've ever had kind of on our team in a fight like that. So that was a neat little section that we did there, even though he 
didn't do any damage, really. Oh, wait, why did I... I just realized, why did I walk back? I could've used the ant compass. I gotta get used to actually having that. That would've been such a faster way to get back. Oh, well. We're, we're back here now, so... And he should just be one screen to the right once we actually transition right here. And... Yeah, see, that, that particular, like, butterfly, they have their wings still. I guess they just don't use them, they're just for show at this point. Which even sounds weird to say. And then I was like, Toria! <laughs> so, seriously? Here, I got you your mask back. Are you a leaf bug? You must be. Mun, thank you, but you could've got hurt. It's alright, everything turned out fine. Hey, glad you two seem fine. These are the friends that gave me courage. You did excellent, Mun. You, uh, forgot the reward, though. Oh, so sorry, I'ma get it. Heh <laughs> I was so cool, though. Thanks, I was really surprised to see you got it back. It was no problem. Don't tell Mun, but I sat down and made a new mask. I figured if he saw I didn't need one, he'd stop fighting the bandits. I should have trusted him a bit more. No one's gonna blame you. Seriously. Please take it. It'll be our secret, alright? The Leaf Cloak Metal. Here, my berry stash. 20 berries. Oh, baby, a double? Huh? Uh, er, the double of 10 is 20? Uh, okay. Th thanks again. Have a nice day. So is that an item or an actual metal? I feel like it's an item, possibly for that trade quest. No, there it is. Camouflage is the equipped ally, making them be targeted less often by enemies. Huh. That could be pretty useful on Leif. Since he is technically the least tanky of the party because V has back support on. At basically all times. Huh. Yeah. That's not a bad badge. I'm actually glad I did that one. Okay, so what was that other quest that we accepted? Hmm. Yeah, Malby. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna do with the rest of this episode is go back to the Bee Kingdom. So let's go ahead and actually make use of our ant compass this time. Because we do have the chomper seed to turn in and a couple of other things, in fact. So it's very, very, very worth our time to go back here. Plus, we just haven't really been back in a while. We have the Malby quest, we have that. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's like... Oh, I should have grabbed money to get that, actually. Let's see. I gotta, I gotta remind myself exactly how much it was. There's like a ribbon or something in the shop that we could use. You know what, let, let's just wait to see. Maybe we, maybe we get enough money from the quest we're about to turn in. So we don't have to do that. Alright, here's you two. Hello. Yep, your card players? Oh. Oh, whoa. I did not expect that. I was just talking to you because you're here. You're the fourth card master. Yes, you know any card masters? Yep, yes, I do. The card master is, um... It's me, not this again. <laughs> That's funny. That's that's super cool. I was just talking to this character just because... I mean, it makes sense that they would be in the Bee Kingdom. This was like the last area where they're like to check for one, and I didn't think they would put him in the same area twice. This dueling aura. When it comes to cards, I won't hold back. I won't be defeated. We expect nothing less of a card master. Please be quiet. Prepare as you must. This will be a duel for the ages. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Do your worst. Alright. Let's go, friendo. I would not. Let's see what new cards we have, why don't we? So the watch here summons a crawler and a warden. I don't really know how I feel about that. Attack three if Kabu attack plus four. So if it's does that mean if it's with Kabu or if it's against Kabu? Kinda curious about that one. That's very powerful though. Mother Chomper, Lifesteal 2, Empower plus 2, Chompers. 
That's also a very powerful card. And the Zomoth and power plus two Fungi. Okay. Hmm. What do I want? I mean, Fungi is very broad, but Mother Chomper having lifesteal and in power is pretty damn good. Let's just go ahead and go with that. Then we have all of these. The Dune Scorpion's a mini boss. Huh. Unity Wasps for General Ultimax. Sin, if Pishi Num, if Sin, defense plus four. Wow, those two are crazy. There's Kabu, and he pierces through three defense. Kali. Oh, if Kabu, heal three. Defense two, if Kabu, heal three. So they're pretty good together as well. So right now we just have Chomper, so... I think we're just going to do Mothiva and Zasp. And now we get a bunch of Chompers in here. I believe that's what I want to do. Two, 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 two. Get some of those in there as well. Coin. Attack one coin, summon one chomper. That doesn't seem too great in all honesty. I mean, if you get the chomper summon, it's fantastic if you have like Mother Chomper out on the field, but it doesn't seem too impressive. So I think I'm going to ignore that. Crawler. Wow, that's all the Warden does? He just summons those two? It's not too fantastic. The Leaf Bugs seem like they could be pretty cool to use. And here's the Wasps. Bomber, the Trooper. Huh. Alright. Well, how about we toss in some Acornlings? We just need some little low attack things. That just gives us lifesteal. Hmm. Could throw in an Inicus, I guess. Defense plus three for five. Oh, you toss two. You, you flip two coins, though. That could be pretty good. Let's go ahead and throw in a Numbnail, too. Alright, let's see what we can do with this deck. My hopes aren't incredibly high, but we will see. Alright, we just evened out there. Seems like you're gonna have a deck dedicated around bots. Can't say I'm surprised. I think I'm just gonna throw the Acornling out in the hope that I get the... I did not get the roll. Unfortunately. Oh well. You win this round. I can throw down a Chomper Brute. Yeah, why not? Okay, you just threw down an Obama, honey. Yeah, your deck definitely seems themed around you know, this area. Bots and all of that. Alright, I could toss down two chompers and a seedling for a total of five. Unfortunately, they numbed me, so we still came out even. Oh well. I think I just want to toss the... We could do the acornling and the chomper brute. Okay, so we got extra three defense, so we did win that one. Alright, Mothiva, I'm still waiting on you. Wherever you're at, honey. Hmm. I think I just want to play the Numbnail. Unfortunately, it had a, he had a one attack, so... That didn't work out too well, but... Okay, there we go. Mothiva, Zasp... And I have three left. So we can toss down a Chomper and an Inicus to just really bring this win home. Yeah, we still win. Yep. Cool. That was closer than I would have liked, considering all that I threw down for that, but... Hey. I think I'm just not going to play anything. Go ahead and waste your turn, I guess. Cool, cool. There we go. Here's a winning round. So boom, boom, boom. That is an automatic win, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 14. Jeez. And I get two lifesteal off of that, so I healed a bunch. Alright. This particular hand is a bit... Eh. So 
so let's just... You can have this one. Alrighty. Cool, cool. So... I guess let's do just all of those, but no Zasp. Oh, I missed both of my rolls. That was just unfortunate. Alright. Chomper Brutes and a Chomper. I mean, I still want to save Zasp for when Mothiva comes up. Let's just throw those down. Come on, miss the roll. You bastard. Of course you didn't miss the roll. I always miss my coin flips. Alright, that that is probably a winning combination. Yeah, alright, and we got some healing thanks to Mothiva. So now we just need to... He has a boss card. Let's intentionally throw this round. I'm glad I did that. I'm really glad I did that. Because I would not have won, I don't believe. But now I have more cards than him, so I can just go all in. There we go. <clears throat> Hopefully that numb doesn't land. If it does, that will suck. You bastard. He numbed my strongest card. Well, I have to throw everything down, or there's a very, very high chance I'll lose. I think... yeah, we tied. This is going to be very, very close. Alright, I mean... That's what I got. And we win. Cool. That was close. Yeah, you were kind of strong, I guess. But I managed to come out on top. Ugh, how could I be defeated? You're the strongest opponent we faced. Ugh, <sighs> the doctor's gonna make fun of me later. Yep. That was a great duel. Um, I'll upgrade your card now. Full suit. The card proves you defeated all the Bugmasters of Bagaria. Use it to access Metal Island's tournament. Which we can't do right now, but hey, at least we got the full suit. We've done it. And that's it. You got a full card. Show it to the old sailor at the pier. He'll take you to the Metal Island for cheap. Really? That's awesome. We can finally test our metal against the tournament's best. Good luck. You're strong, Leif, but you're gonna need it. I, I don't know what voice I'm giving this character now. I remembered, like, before I was giving it kind of like a little Weasley kind of deep voice, but I don't know. I can't I can't do it right now. My mind isn't in the right headspace, I guess. Or I'm not in the right headspace. Hey there, folks. Any questions about the BOSS? Wait, what? Uh, I think we've seen that before. Do we get anything from it? I've never... Yes, you will get some EXP from battles, but since those are simulations, the amount you get is very reduced. But if you do well in rush mode, I can give you some medals and goodies I have stored. Losing battles won't penalize you, so there's no risk. It's a safe way to see how much you've grown. So what were these two medals? Allows you see the HP without spying. And... Let's you know if there are interesting objects nearby. I'm guessing those are the two we get from that, so... I wasn't really planning on doing the BOSS program until, you know, the end game. And those don't seem too incredibly game-changing, so I don't think I'm gonna go out of my way to get them right now. Seems fine to me. What was the deal back here? Life, it's good to see you again, your performance. Oh yeah, you're the... You're the person that really likes Leif's eating abilities. Huh, what's the deal with you? Oh dear, what to do? Okay, I can do this. Huh, here I go. Hang in there. What's up? Can I help you? Dunno, can you? Tell us your issue. We'll see. I thought buying a house in the Ant City would be great, but I didn't enjoy it at all. I just get too homesick for the amazing Bee Kingdom. I don't know what to do with it now. Homesick, huh? I understand how you feel. Uh, that sucks. C can we help? Are you interested in the house? It's right in the main plaza. You mean the red house near the inn? We could use a place. Yeah, how about 150 berries? It's cheaper than I got it for. Goodness, that housing market's gotten rough. Won't blame you if you don't want it. It's nothing compared to here. We will think about it. We're proud of you, V. I. Let's just go. Okay, so... 
That's something I need to consider. I definitely have the money for that, so... And I imagine there's probably items or something hidden in there that I can get. Just checking to make sure there's no discoveries hidden around here either. So yeah, there's the ribbon that I will probably inevitably need at some point as well for some kind of quest. Alright, here's... I think this is Honeycomb? Yeah, you too. Hello. That's... You must show it to the professor right away. What? What do I have? You mind telling me? Oh, Hawk is back. Wonderful. He said you helped him. Yeah, did we get a reward? No way, you already have my stolen prototype and want more. Ugh. Come on, V. Helping is its own... Its own reward. Yeah, I've heard it before. Hmm. You're so ungrateful. But I actually do have something for you. As long as you're willing to gather some more data for me. Take this. ADBP Enhancer Metal. Increases the amount of time some beamerang skills can hit. That is useful. Ugh. More data stuff, that's so boring. Just be grateful I let you keep the prototype at all, and I'll get out before I lose my patience. Wait, what's that? Uh, what? That. Hand it over. Uh... Chomp proceed? As I thought. That's a chomp proceed. Indeed. It was left behind by a mother chomper. Fascinating. Do you know how uncommon it is for seeds to not bloom immediately? Hawk! Hawk! Come here, quick! Have I heard correctly? You actually found an unhatched chomper seed? Indeed. What this may be. Yes. Yes. Maybe we can make it work. What? What will work? Shut it and watch. Come here. I've been preparing this for years. In front of you, you see what I call a chomper vat. That's just a huge hunk of glass. Hush. This place is just a compact environment where chompers thrive. With this, we can plant that seed right here in the lab. So you wish for a pet chomper? Pet? I don't have time for that, this is science. If we can somehow study how the chompers are born and their lifestyles outside of chomping bugs, it would help us understand them more and maybe even pacify them in the future. Sure, I really don't get how though, is it worth it? Just getting them to stop attacking travelers is a huge boon to bugdom. We can't study them without great risks, but here we can observe them easily. We do find Chompers cute. Here's hoping this works. That's what I like to hear. It's the moment of truth. There you go, little buddy. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. Success! It lives. It lives. It, impressive. This Chomper looks a bit different, though, doesn't it? Hmm. My guess is that this is... You said that you got this seed from a mother Chomper. Yeah, it was super big, super strong Mama Chomper. I can only assume that this small one was supposed to be the next in line for that position. Chompers do have a weird hierarchy system, but it isn't too far apart from how us bugs do it. They have their mother, we have our queen. Maybe it's because she is still young, but she seems very peaceful. Hmm, I suppose there's some sort of imprinting in this Chomper too. It doesn't seem like it will turn violent. You brought the seed here, would you care to name it? Really? Can we? It's only fair. We owe this incredible specimen to you. I'm bad with names anyways. Go on, name it. Uh... Uh, no, I don't want to switch to Japanese. Okay. Um... Erase? Um, really wasn't ready for this. Uh... Um... What do I name it? Chomp... It was, it was called Chompy before, wasn't it? Hmm. I was thinking for a second Chain Chomp, but I don't think that is a good one either. <laughs> I'm also awful with names, so... Huh. It'd be nice if I could back out of this, because if I knew it was coming, I would, like, name it after a viewer or something. Have like a little contest or something, but how should we name the Chomper? Hmm. Yeah, I'm coming up blank. We might just do something boring, like name it Quasi. <coughs> hmm.
Yeah. I think we're just gonna have to name it something boring because I was not ready for this at all. So I really didn't have anything lined up. Hmm. Quasi. Is that what I'm gonna go with? Am I the baby chomper? Chompery? Chomper? Keep trying to call it a chompy now that they've said that. Quasi. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Quasi, are you sure? Yeah, that's me. Look how adorable I am. Very well. Now I have another favor to ask you. Uh, you're gonna have to start paying. This task is the payment. I want you to go out in the field with this chomper and gather data on their behaviors. How's that a reward? You want us to babysit a dangerous monster? Don't call it a monster. She seems to have taken a liking to you three and, you sh and should be harmless. Maybe if she lives alongside bugs, she could grow to become a peaceful mother chomper. We don't even care if you don't agree, V. We're doing it. It's too cute to leave here. Fine. I guess it is a bit cute. Isn't it? I can't wait to share stories with it. It's settled. Come on over and take her out for a walk when you can. Just bring her back into the VAT whenever to. Count on us, Professor. We will ensure a bright future for this chomper. Treat Quasi carefully. It's quickly earned my love. Aw, oh, look, I'm loved. Come on out. Yeah. I don't really see the point in this. I don't understand what it does. Maybe it fights with me in battle? That would be weird, though. I'm not sure. Alright, so... I guess that's everything for now. I suppose next time we can go take on the stuff with Malby and get some combat experience for our little friend here, I suppose. I just want to check back in here. Is there potentially anything hidden in here? Apparently the queen wants to talk to us about something. Hi, queenie. You don't look very happy. Excuse me, how could you let this happen? I, I don't know, my queen. Reports say that something went wrong at the power plant, which caused the Code 32 lockdown. And you found nothing in the power plant. Are you certain you looked through everything? <clears throat> yeah, yes, your majesty. To think our honored guests were in danger, this must not happen again. Please do see to that. We will continue our investigation with double the troops. You should have given it your all from the start. So, sorry, my queen. Okay, so we just learned about that. Did she say the same thing? Ah, V, I humbly commend you for your service at the factory. It was no problem. I hope that this incident doesn't make you dread coming home again. No, no, seriously, it's super fine. Oh ho ho, I'm glad, V. I hope you can reconcile with everyone soon. Y yeah, I'm uh, working on it, gotta go. All right, just wanted to check in there. I wasn't sure if there was like paintings or stained glass on the walls, like in the uh, Ant Kingdom throne room that may have given us the discovery. But I think this is probably a good point to go ahead and end this episode off. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.